Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I very quickly wanted to show you how to install a Jenkins war file so you can get Jenkins up and running. So I want to quickly show you how to run the Jenkins war. As you may know, you can download the war file right from Jenkins.io. I've downloaded it, put it in this Jenkins folder here off underscore tools, and I got a little command prompt here. And the way you run it, you just have to type in java-jar jenkins.war. That assumes that you're running this command from the same folder that the Jenkins war file is in and that'll run it. Now, one thing you do have to make sure of is that you've got the JDK installed. So run Java-version, make sure you've got the JDK, some distribution of it uh, installed in at least version eight, I've got version 11. If you don't, this won't work. You're probably also gonna have to have Java on the path of Windows or Ubuntu. Obviously this command won't work if I didn't, but you, then you just run java-jar jenkins.war and Jenkins will start right up. Now, if you've already installed Jenkins, you'll be able to log right in. If you haven't installed Jenkins, you're going to have to do the initial configuration. So you just go to localhost 8080. There's a special little hexadecimal number that the installation puts in here. So you've got to copy that. And it's a little hard to do it inside of a DOS prompt. I'll go edit, copy. And then when you get to Jenkins, you have to paste that in, click continue install all the suggested plugins, which takes just a minute. And then when all the plugins are installed, it's time to just create a new username. I always just do Jenkins, 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 and Jenkins. That just creates a basic user. That's good for a training environment. And then all of a sudden it can start you up on Jenkins. It'll take you to the user interface and there you go. You see Jenkins is installed. So that's how you run the war file. And of course the war file is, is running as long as that DOS prompt is open. If you close that DOS prompt, all of a sudden Jenkins won't start anymore, obviously, because uh, you've stopped the program. Now, one thing I do like to say is I like to go in here and just create a new batch file. So I'll call it startjenkins.bat and I'll open that up in editpad. And from here, I like to just do java-jar jenkins.war. Once again, that's how you run the Jenkins war file. I'm gonna close that. And now I don't have to open up this command prompt anymore. I can just double click on that batch file. You know, you might even want to start it as a scheduled task in Windows if you're running Windows. That way, as a scheduled task, it can start up as soon as Windows starts. It's similar to setting it up as a service. But there you go, Jenkins is up and running. And now if I go back to localhost 8080, you'll see that I can log in with Jenkins, Jenkins, and go ahead and create my Jenkins build jobs, my build pipelines, all of those other neat things uh, using the Jenkins interface. And so there you go. That's how easy it is to go in there and run that Jenkins war file, java-jar, jenkins.war. Now, there you go. That's the easiest way to install a Jenkins war file. Just go to the command line, javajar jenkins.war. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, on enterprise development, on DevOps. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.